to Mrs. Geeta Gundarwad, Assistant Professor of Communication Skills, Department of Humanities and Sciences, Walchan Institute of Technology, Sholapur. In the previous video, we have discussed about the business letter and the etiquette. In this session, we are going to discuss about the format writing. At the end of this session, student will be able to understand the format of business letter. A letter, whether it is long or short, it has to be planned before it is written. When writing a business letter, the writer produces one-sided conversation with the reader in the sense that he or she has to anticipate the reader's questions and provide answers to those questions. Now, first we will discuss about what is meant by business letter. Take a pause, think about the question and try to write the answer. A business letter is a letter written in formal language usually used when writing from one business organization to another or for correspondence between organization and their customers, clients and other external parties. Now it is very important to discuss about the purposes of the business letter. So here are some of the purposes. The first purpose it would be to inform about something. The second one is to congratulate on any success. Next is to enquire about something. Then to order about some material or any type of uh, things. Then to request to collect dues, to complain about something, to make an adjustment, to sell a product, service or scheme. So these all are the purposes behind writing any business letter. Now let us see some common types of business letters. All these types are based on the purposes whatever we are writing the business letter. So see the various types of business letters. First one acceptance letter, then acknowledgement letter, adjustment letter, application letter, complaint letter, then cover letter, inquiry letter order letter, refusal letter, response letter and self letter. These are some of the types of business letters. To write any type of business letter, follow these basic steps. It is very important to follow all these steps. The first step is identify your reader, then establish your objective. Determine your scope. Organize your letter. It is very important to organize your letter. Then draft your letter. Draft your letter properly. Close your letter. Your letter, it should be end with a proper end or uh, with a proper concluding. And the last one is review and revise your letter. So all these things, it is very necessary to keep in your mind while writing any business letter. Now let us see the format or various styles of writing a business letter. Here are some of the styles. Block format, simplified or indent format, modified and semi-block format. So, all these types we will see in detail. The first is block. Each line of every part 
begins at the left margin at least one line spaced between each part it is a time saving method and beautiful to look at it is also known as american style next is indent or simplified style new paragraphs begin about 1.5 cm to the right of the left margin this style is also known as hanging style this method consumes a lot of time looks shabby therefore out of practice this is very traditional type of style that's why it is not used nowadays and the last is semi block or modified block which is always used nowadays some parts are typed in block method and other parts are indent return address date closing and signature start just to the right of the center of the page or maybe plus with the right margin most widely followed method in our country especially in government offices this style is accepted by microsoft and we indians have also accepted this style this is a general letter layout of style semi block style this is a format then modified block style and block style we can understand the differences between these formats these are some of the examples of writing a letter that block style see in this block style everything is flushed on the left margin in modified block style only the sender's address and the signature it is on right side otherwise everything is on the left side in indent style yeah, the sender's address and signature is also on the right side and otherwise everything is flush from the left see the difference between modified block style and indent style in modified block style whenever we start the paragraph it should start with a left margin but in indent style whenever we start a paragraph we leave some space so this is the main difference between these two style this is block style letter sample see sender's address date line then to whom you are writing the letter that address salutation main body and the concluding part everything is flushed on the left margin everything flush to left margin with no indent this is a modified block style letter format sample in this format this um, sender's address and the signature line is on right side whatever the other part is flushed on the left margin paragraphs are not indented however these parts of the letter are centered the sender's written address date letter line uh, written complimentary closing and sender's signature title signature or title so this is a modified block style letter format read this sample business letter this is an application letter in this format also i have emphasized on the format see the sender's written address is on right side inside address is on left and complimentary closing and sender's signature is on right side this is a modified block style 
contain format each paragraph in the business letter should contain different topic the first para should grab attention and state the reason for the letter the middle paragraphs should support your reason and go into details in the final paragraph as professional etiquette for the writer to thank the reader for taking his or, or her time to read the letter the end of a business letter marks the biggest difference between business and personal letter the ending of business letter usually states sincerely followed by writer's signature and name the general statement about business letters business letters required in many different situations like applying for job requesting or delivering information writing for business should be crisp and succinct it should be to the point specific and accurate your writing must adhere to conversations of standard american english so here are some references whatever i have used for making the ppt thank you